Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is David Cavestein. Welcome back to What It Remains of Vita Finch. Anyways, last time we experienced Molly's death. And now I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know which room I'm in anymore. What, what is this room? What? Whoa. Wait. Who, who was... people Sven was killed by a dragon. She could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. I mean, to be fair, dragon sounds way better than, uh, than the um, goddamn dragon slide that collapse. One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. Yeah, it seems like she lives. Edie seems to be living a lot on fame. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. Wait, what is your name? Oh, your name is Edith, uh, too. Oh, yeah. gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. A mole man? The fuck? Wait, so she, did she des definitely has like a... Before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. Edie knit me a new pair of gloves every year. Just in time to replace the old ones. So yeah, Edie has like something, like some... Odin. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune. And misfortune. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse. His wife, Ingeborg, and their newborn son. Johan. Hmm. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. Okay, so there's a talk about a curse. Also, why the hell would you... You don't set sail with a house. It's like the fucking... Waves off the coast of Washington. Of course. The house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Of, of, yeah, what the fuck did you expect? You don't sail a house. There's a lot of problems, especially when waves become a thing. Odin's Idiot. Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore in their new home, Ork Asylum. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. Uh, oh my god. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Oh, that was... Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Wait, so that... That was just Odin's? Okay, I mean, that was... Kind of short. So there's like a curse, apparently. So there was a curse. Or like, it seems this family has a curse. Oh, it doesn't seem to be anything for Lou. Oh, right, she was making the memorial for Lewis. I'm guessing she died before she Even could. In the 90s, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. Um. So, I mean, Edie does like Edie, like the older Edie, not our character. Edie does kind of seem a bit fucked up in the way that she does stuff. Like, I'm already memorializing. Making myths about everything and all that. She definitely seems like someone who attention who is like seeking attention or something. Which is kinda of terrible after you you only know, you kill your first daughter. Um interesting though. Is this how you went to the shower? Interesting. The only place Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. Where the heck is Kay? It was a pretty big trace. I mean, I mean, you do you. Ooh, another key. There's a secret in this bathroom. Oh my god, there's a secret in this bathroom. Ooh, what's the secret? There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. Uh huh. It isn't in the cupboard, it's hidden in this book. I mean, that's, that's just cool. 
That's just cool. I mean, I don't know get why they're making all these secret passages, but that's but still cool. Camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, look, Melton was here again. Wee! Huh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, Sam grew pretty old. Uh, Calvin seems to have... You gonna continue that sentence? Okay, you just knew he had a twin. So I'm assuming we're about to see how Calvin died. I'm assuming. Who knows? Maybe we'll also see. I mean, I'm guessing we'll see how all how they all died or something. That's kind of what it looks like to be. I mean. And that he never talked about him. Oh, that was your continuation. Oh, you're leading me up there. Okay. I'm mean, sure. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. I mean, I mean, when you do, when you, when you, when your twin brother dies at the age of eight, which it looks like, I, I get that. I get death is a scary thing, and I get why you wouldn't like talk about this. It's kind of messed up to be talking about all these dead people, especially in a very How memorial way. Remember my brother, by Sam Fink. The thing I remember. Is that when he made up his mind, that was it. Oh. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. I mean, good for him. At least he did die. Funeral, he swore he'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. Uh-huh. Oh, no. Always wanted to fly. Oh, no. I already know what's going to happen. Oh no, is the tray is gonna break for oh my god no Oh my god no No stop Why would you do this? I think it has nothing to do with the wind you Oh no! I know what happened. The tree must have snapped. The tree. The tree must have snapped at some point. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! trying to do the exact same thing why what is wrong with this family for fuck's sake after the funeral edie roped off calvin's half of the room oh so it could be a memorial kind of thing Mom that's kind of fucked up at 18, never set foot in the room again you know what that's probably a smart thing no i actually wanted to pull that could you What is it with this house and codes? It's fucking amazing. It's cool, but still. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of secret passage. How how do you make these? Seriously. They're pretty tight fit. They've obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. I mean, yeah, yeah, I don't think you're supposed to... Wait, what's what's over here? I think this is where I need to go. I'm gonna just do this quickly. There you go. But I think this is where I need to go.
always thought of Barbara as a child star. I mean, oh. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. I mean, after being a child star, well, she's popular. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, child actresses are kind of get the hard foot all the time and all that. Poor them, to be fair. They they got a barb street. Why do you have this improv night? There's a lot of cool details here. Happy birthday, Barbara. Oh, that didn't wasn't finished. Oh, what is this? Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death. I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Huh. Oh, Jack here with another ghastly tale. Inspired by okay. America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. Ooh. I like the comic book style. Barbara was famous for her screams. This is kind of cool. Now at 16, she was all washed up. Her hair's big. I mean, but yeah, that's going to be hard to... She'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. I mean... Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. What the fuck? Fan, Ed Perry's boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when. <laughs> now that was a great scream. Oh, I agree with that. Was a great scream. Sven, he'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. How the fuck? You slip into a fucking table saw. Her youngest brother Walter. Her convention comeback was cancelled. <laughs> okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orcas Island tonight. Police are urging residents to That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? <laughs> I loved your delivery on that. What a, what a sweet movie star po sound to that. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. Oh my god, really? Hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him. Right? Wait. Is this how they're revealing me that that's cool? That's that's actually clever design. Cause now it teaches you about it. I like how it like classifies this house was silent. Oh, this is cool. This is really freaking cool. And imagine the worst. Holy damn, this is cool. I like the stylization of everything. Fuck yeah. The gang's leader is the infamous Hookman killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. Oh yeah, you see where the accident happened here. Oh dear! Oh, 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 the poor man. Barb, relax. I was just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. I mean, yeah. To be fair, I get why. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused. And yeah, that was well deserved. Have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later... Barbara! 
Walter, what's going on up there? What? Coming up, but if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. What? What's happening? Can I smash the? Oh, I can't smash the table. Oh, why is there a skeleton on the door? Oh, it's Halloween. Oh, I get it. Oh, okay, that's kind of uh, creepy. I love the stylization of everything. Oh no! Orcas Island Police described the man as six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. Uh oh. I returned, saw the hook man, and I speak this. Ah! <laughs> Fuck yeah! That's the way to do it, Barbara. Ooh. Fuck yeah! Oh, this is a uh, Walter's room. We've never—I mean, we've been in Walter's room. I completely forgot. We just haven't seen it like fully furnished. Cause yeah, but now we're in Molly's room. Oh my god, we get to see these at different perspectives. Molly must have like just died before this, right? Oh, hello there, sir. Oh, what a suck to suck moment. I'm assuming he's gonna, like, he's not gonna be there when I'm down there, right? Look, it's so fucking obvious, okay? God, I love the style of this, holy shit. Yep, he's not there. Oh, oh no! <gasps> oh my god. Oh, oh, I'll take that. Yes, I'll take that. Come on. Come on, huh? Come on. Sorry, but how was it coming from inside the house? Oh. <laughs> oh dear. Oh! I mean, that's cool. Oh, what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. Uh. I know, friend. Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. Um. Uh but I hear Barbara was magnificent. Poor girl. She had a taste the fuck? What? Unfortunately, so did her fans. S sorry. The police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared at the same night. And little Walter, hiding under his bed. Why would you keep the music box after that? Now, obviously a lot of this is fictional. Like, obviously a lot of this is fictional. Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered. 
as absurd as that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. So... Okay, before I end, let me just theorize what happened here. Because all the deaths right now have seemed a bit... Well, some of them have pretty much shown you how they died. and But they always seem to do it with like a twist to it. Um, for example, Molly, you know, she's experienced this entire hallucinogenic trip. Which, honestly, she just fucking starved to death or ate the toxic berries. Oh, who was that guy again? The Cal Calvin straight up just... Well, I mean, he just fell over the cliff and fucking died like that. But Barbara's interesting because we don't exactly know how she died. We know the story of the night she died. And I'm assuming it's basically what the police said. Uh, what I'm assuming was that Rich Rick basically be became a bit pissed that uh, Barbara was, like, mad at him. And he decided to take some revenge or something. I, there, there, it probably was a bigger argument and it finished off with uh, Rick killing her. That's what I'm assuming what happened. Um, still really, really weird. I don't really exactly know what to say about Barbara's death. It just seemed like she was killed by another person. Uh, that, that the entire st story was just like a, a, like a spiritual way of showing... Like again... A lot of these stories are shown in a way where you don't exactly know what happened. I mean, but Calvin's obvious. Calvin fucking flew to his... I mean, he, he flew straight down. Um, but again, it, it seems like they're going to show a lot of these deaths in a way where it's not certain how the people died. Like, we don't know exactly what killed Molly. I'm assuming it's starvation or eating the toxic berries. And the same here with Barbara. We don't even know exactly how she died. Interesting. It's. It, 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 I think we're, that's what we're gonna keep eye on. It's like it's probably most likely gonna make these scenes a bit more vague. Like not all of them are gonna be clear on how they died. Anyways, so that was it for today. It's definitely getting interesting. Again, I love the concept, and well, the game looks amazing. And that comic style was really cool. Anyways, I want to say thank you guys for watching. I'll be back in the next video. As simple as that. I'm not going to try and like say when I'm going to be back to on the stream or anything. I'll be back in another video. Bye-bye! <laughs>